Now on the freezer side, I wonder if getting focus. Oh, <laughs> oh I have ice. Um, no, earlier on, every time I open the freezer door, maybe shut it again. Yeah, I'm getting whale sound, whale noise. So do it again. No, it needs a while to, to build up. What the hell's all that about? Hello and welcome to another video. And this may be a long video, maybe a short video. I have no idea at the moment. Um, but what I've got here is I bought a new fridge freezer, which is apparently black on the front. Although as I film it with the kitchen lights on, it looks silver and it's silver on the side. Well, yeah, you can see sort of the, you know, it's black. Can you? Is it? Is it black or is it? I think it's, it's very, there's a very slight gradation between black and silver. Or maybe they've just given me silver. And it does look, it does look black. And when they brought it in, uh, it did look black. Just tripped over the laundry basket. It did look black from a distance. <laughs> kind of a little bit less so up close. Now, this is an RS8000 um, fridge freezer, American fridge freezer. I bought it from AO.com. I previously had an RS21 DCNS. I had that for almost 15 years. I bought that in April 2007. And one thing I've learned recently is when I bought a, a washing machine uh, a little while ago, I did make a video out of that and then I forgot to <laughs> upload it, so I might upload that. Anyway, um, I realised that, this was, let's say, from AO.com, this is not sponsored or anything. I realised you can actually ask them to deliver it and connect it up, take away the old one. You know, just, just basically, I'm getting heckled by uh, the water tap. Um, yeah, just disconnect it all up, just basically do everything and save me the bother, which is great. Because I have no bloody idea whatsoever. I, I can't even put up shelves. I'm bloody useless. Uh, so the, the reason why I've changed now is because I had a problem with, I think it's the defrost heater evaporator fan or something. Basically the fridge side, which as you're looking at this is on the right hand side, on the old bottle, <clears throat> which I'll, I'll put up a picture of that, um, is... Uh, basically, if that freezes up, if it goes wrong and it starts freezing up, then the water stops working and the fridge doesn't cool as much. So that happened. I did have a visit from United Utilities who used the compressor to... They, they, they basically tried to... Had problems with the water pressure. They tried to sort it out. They ended up making it worse. And then they ended up having to send a, a guy with a compressor around, a plumber, to shoot a load of water back down the you know, back down the pipe to outside because back, you know, when the first guy came he was banging away it just ended up with a load of uh, but my water my water pressure dropped making me wish I never bloody called them in the first place okay when the when the um, compressor guy had come it was about four or five hours later which was a, a tale in itself he, um, he he got it better in the end than it was. Um, the only thing, the only problem I found after after the event is that, and the the water filter for this new machine is in the same place as the old one was. Um, I opened up that cupboard afterwards. I didn't even need to look at it while the guy was here, um, and he was dealing with the washing machine, which is on the other side. Um, just sort of putting this his compressor thing in that. The um, I opened this cupboard to make dinner later on. It was full of bloody water. <laughs> Full of bloody water, uh, which is not good. But I didn't spot it. It didn't. It wasn't obvious because it all was shut when he was here. So basically, what obviously happened was he had shut the compressor thing down there. You know, you think that the water uh, inlet would be off, so because obviously you can't get water coming in while, um, you know, while he's shooting air out. So, I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that the water, the, the air just shot around the pipes and had to find a, an outlet somewhere. And you know, so in the back of, there's a, a water tap at the back of this machine. Um, it just sort of shot out somehow. And it just decided to come out of the filter and go all over everything in there. So that was a bit of 
faffing to sort out. Anyways, don't worry Mr. Freezer, I'll just wait for you to finish with the ice tray thing. Anyways, so um, yeah, I think, oh yes, I bought that last one in 2007 and then I had, um, they fitted Samsung, realised there was something called a known problem, what they call the known problem. We'll get onto that with this in a minute. And it was, they had to do a quality improvement package and fit that in. And they ended up doing this in 2011. And then in 2014, um, the, yeah, so this, the first time it happened, this uh, fridge, the heater on the fridge side, the um, evaporator, something or other, stopped working. It's, it got a bit warm. And then, um, yeah, so I had to order a separate what's it and for them to or someone to come out and replace it. I can't remember who replaced it now whether it was them or someone else um, anyway after a lot of emails to Samsung they replaced it because I said look it's a known problem it's all over the internet you need to pay for it and at the time that was about £126 um, the machine itself uh, they did pay for it but in the machine the machine itself was £650 I think back in yeah, April 2007 so the only thing I've had sort of outlay since is in 2016 was the new uh, ice tray ice for the ice maker thing, which just the whole the ice maker machine stopped working inside it. And it's about £90 to get a new one of them from eBay. So anyway, then, uh, yeah, so after the, what's it been, the, the uh, United Utilities had been on 4th of uh, January this year. I then had, yeah, you know, a week later, uh, you sort of, you know, sort of thinking, oh, please don't, nothing go wrong now. A week later, the water stopped. No idea why. It was fine on the Monday night, and then on the Tuesday morning, I went to use it. Completely stopped. So I then pulled out the in, on the fridge side. Um, if I remember, I'll stick a picture up there of the back of. So they pull out a couple of the units, a couple of the, the the tray things inside, and then you can see to the back, and it all frozen over a bit, and then. Uh, as I film this today, it's 24th of January. And basically, because I realised things were not going to get any better, and the machine was almost 15 years old, and, and you know, I'd be spending, I think, later, the call-out charge of almost £100 for Samsung's, you know, uh, dedicated, or the, the person they send out to do stuff, Call out charge hundred pounds. I think the part itself is probably about thirty, forty pounds, and then but with labour on top of that, you're looking two hundred and fifty, three hundred pounds in total to get the whole thing bloody fixed. And so since it was almost you know fifteen years old, it's just like <sighs> I've got to go and sort this out and get a new one basically. So I got this new one, and yeah, I can't remember the <laughs> the, 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 the name of the WhatsApp because the, the, the serial number, whatever, because it's well, not serial number, the, the model number. I'll put that in the video description anyway in the title. But I know it's the RS8000 one. Now, um, okay, it's it looks like a little bit... Okay, so this is not completely black, obviously, but I was wondering if it was going to be like the, the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, obviously, it's not. Um... Between this and the yeah, a couple of little oddities. Between this and the previous uh, machine, and I did spot this before it came. Um, you don't have any. Well, again, I'll put a picture up. But you don't have any handles uh, that's uh, sort of sticking out, and those handles are very useful because, of course, there's always a chance that they might fall off or something. I might pull them off. Maybe if you have kids, which I don't, then you might end up with a situation where if they keep tugging at them, then it'll just break. Um, but I quite, it's quite handy just to sort of hang, um, you know, you, you wash your hands, you sort of dry it on a tea towel and just hang the tea towel up on the door. Sorted. Uh, but now I can't do that. So it's a bit of a problem because the handle itself, that handle, I would open the fridge door with my right hand because that's on the right hand side and the freezer door with my left hand because that's on the left hand side. Now I have to do the complete, well, I can do both with the right hand, I suppose, if you pardon the expression, um, because I have to sort of go like that. And I mean, I do get more, there is more space in this. One thing I did look up while I get this back into focus is that there's um, the previous machine had 555 litres of space. This has 634 
So it's certainly big. This was 946, um, say from io.com. And then plus, I say plus, a, plus what was it? There's plus um, connection disposal of the old one. And uh, well, I've still got some of the baskets from the old one because it was just easier to, um, you know, some taking stuff out while they come and do their thing. It was just easier to come and to, to stick the stuff in the basket and stick that uh, on the side of this room. Um, so whether I can sell those on, I don't know. People do sell the empty trays, etc. But um, do people still want trays for a 15-year-old fridge freezer? Probably not. Um, so I do have more space in this one. Um, one thing I do have, one thing I did find is that this... Um, oh, God. Yeah, that that is not a fault. So it looks like it's a fault. That's... Okay. That's actually the... I just put a tray and put some chocolate in and stuff. That's actually the tray from the old machine. Um, I did have a choice really between Samsung and, and LG, but um, LG, they can't take the doors off. And quite frankly, uh, <laughs> this is, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just shut this while I talk a bit more. Um, quite frankly, I did need someone to, well, this is why I, I ordered the service for them to come and deliver it and take away the old one because <clears throat> you need, to take the doors off because so sort of the the depth really to get to the back of the from from where you can see it to the back of the unit is about seventy two centimeters, and my door has got a width of about sixty five sixty six centimeters, um, and without the doors it's about sixty one centimeters, so it just about comes through. But yeah, it's it's a bloody heavy unit. The previous one was about 130, 135 kilograms. This is about 112, 115 kilograms, something like that. But still, way too much for two people to, well, to, to, to handle. It's certainly too much for one. Um, and when I got the one in 2007, yeah, I didn't realise that you could get, you know, I didn't, well, I assumed that two men would come and they would help bring it into the room. I mean, at the time I was getting some work done on the house and uh, uh, they were going to, I was hoping they would just bring it into the house and then my builders would do the rest. And one man turned up and he just said, no, nah, and it wasn't wasn't AO.com, it was another website. Uh, the guy just turned up and went, no, nah, mate, doorstep delivery. I was like, shit. So basically in the middle, or just, just on the street, he just stuck this bloody big fridge freezer. I mean, quite frankly, really, since my builder wasn't available that day, I should really have told him, look, uh, it's obviously been a mistake. Um, I can't accept it. Please take it away. And then um, we'll sort out another delivery date. May have cost me more, but quite frankly, I don't care. You know, this was the, for this one for the connection, disposal of the old one, and to, to do everything. It was it worked out fifty five pounds? But then I saw there's a fifty five. Um, so there's a if you pay over two hundred ninety nine pounds for um, uh, yeah for for an appliance. Uh, yeah, 299 pounds. Then they give you a code for 25 pound off. So it works out 976 overall. Uh, so I say it was 946 for the base, you know, just as it was. Um, and then I looked on the website the next day <laughs> and it shot up to about 1256. Um, and then I checked again last night, it was just over a grand, but it's very bizarre pricing they have on that website. Um, so Anyway, just go back. To, yes. Anyway, so I'll just say that again. That chocolate thing. It's it's from the old machine. It doesn't. It, you know. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't sure where else to put chocolate in the in the thing, and then I saw it. This didn't come with that particular shelf, whether it's supposed to or not. I don't know. I'll find that out. Um, but there's a space for the shelf from the old unit that almost fits. So I'm having it, and I'll just put that in there. So glad I kept that. Um, Otherwise, I'd be in a bit of a pickle. Well, I just have to order another one, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of talking as I, as I remember things or spot things. Um, if I sort of finish this video and then I don't, um, you know, miss something, I might have to add a bit on. As you can see, as you can see at the top there, the door is not level. So that's the, what's the left hand door. Right hand, well, okay, because that's the left hand, that's the right hand, but it depends which way you're looking at it. Um, actually, it does look a bit like the sort of TARS thing from um, Interstellar ish. Anyway, um, maybe it'll take me through time by 80 years. 
Um, but yeah, so it's a bit disjointed at the top. I think it sort of comes down a bit, a bit squee whiff. Um, it's not right, not right basically. But uh, so I only spotted this just after the guy had gone, or the two guys, and I asked the guys, you know, phoned them up just after they'd gone, and he said that is apparently how they are. Obviously, it's not how they're meant to be. Um, but he said he's had that with other uh, units of this model. So that's the only bad thing, really. That's so far that I've spotted. Um, apart from that, everything's been fine so far. Um, I will just say that <laughs> I was looking up appliance anxiety delivery um, or appliance delivery anxiety just last night. And uh, yeah, a few people get annoyed. Well, just, just like, oh, you can't really think about anything else when you've got this bloody massive thing coming in. And of course, as I took out as I took out the um, the old food and put you know just put it to one side, um, windy pops, and then they come along. They take the they take the doors off this one or the top of the previous one. They don't do it um, as if it can be assembled nicely or anything. They just clip 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 clip. Uh, <laughs> And then they take the machine out and they just sort of snip off the water, what's it, and so on. And then um, so it's, it's just made me think, God, I hope the new one works. Otherwise, I'm up shit creek. So, um, yeah, thankfully it seems to work so far. But, um, yeah, just uh, so, yeah, it's just so much like, oh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Are they going to get it through the bloody, be able to get it through the bloody door? That's the, the main thing. And, um, yeah, and one blog I saw, I'll try and remember to link it on here in the video description. They just said that um, they were hyper focused on the delivery for about four days. And I know the exact same feeling. Yesterday, I couldn't think about anything else. I was trying to watch, um, I watched this new Netflix series, um, which I'm re going to review. Um, I can't put my review up yet at the time I'm making this video. I think I can, I can do that later in the week. It's called. Was it Kristen Bell, the woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window? Crazy long title. Um, when my review goes live from Wednesday of this week, so it may already be live by the time you see this, um, you'll uh, yeah, you'll see my review of that. But yeah, I just, had, I just had to try and keep myself occupied, stop myself thinking about it. Uh, what else have we got? So anyway, they took away the old. Uh, filter. That's just where the where the builder in two thousand and seven put the old filter, and so um, yeah, so that's what we ended up. Obviously, we just copy that with this one as well. Um, I've got some bits and pieces that can go in that unit, and um, yeah, that's it basically. Nothing much you can say about that. That's just yeah. There are some Samsung machines where it can go inside the machine itself, uh, the filter, and it'd be so much easier if you could just do that rather than have to. Switch the water off, unclip it at both ends, and then take it out, and then clip it back on, and blah blah blah. But still, you know, I suppose worst things happen at sea. Um, you get water, water, little water, water, water. Just um, just with one hand. Pardon. Mm -hmm. So just push that back. Now a minute ago it wasn't doing any ice. Now it seems to have ice. Let's see if we get ice. I'll stop there. Um, it's oh, just put the water thing back on. Um, yeah, it's, it's not been on. Well, what time did they come? They came about half past seven. So I say I wasn't feeling very, um, you know, feeling very nervous about all this. And basically, I, I fell asleep around about sort of half one because I just couldn't concentrate on anything. And I just I didn't even know I could barely sleep. And then I woke up about half past four after having some dream that I was going on a three-day three, three day trip to look at the Intellivision Amico. My God. Um, what a nightmare. Um, 
and I was in a room, ma- room, massive room with loads and loads of people. And then at one point, they're all going to take off and go in a, a bus somewhere to wherever the Amico was. And I didn't go with them. And I was just sat in the room on my own. Just some, some stupid bloody dream. Then I woke up about half past four. I did get back to sleep. And then I woke up about six o'clock. And then I couldn't get back to sleep after that because they say that... Um, it was about ten to six I woke up. Because they say that... Um, I, I, got a mess, I got a text last night saying your delivery will be... You know, couldn't come at any time between 7am and 7pm. And it says, you're, great news, you're going to be one of the first three people of the day. Uh, so you'll be between 7 and, and 11 in the morning. And I'm thinking, oh, great. Uh, we'll give you a link at 6am, which will tell you when you know, can narrow it down. Oh, yes. I'm always up at 6am on a bloody Monday. Um, so I couldn't sleep because of that as well. Um, and then, yeah, basically I, I, I was I was the third out of the the th- first three people they were coming to. Um, the first two they did very quickly because I got a call at just after half past seven saying they'd be with me in five minutes. Now there's me thinking that I'll be um, I'll have everything you know house to myself for at least twenty minutes so I can empty the fridge for, properly and the freezer. And uh, no, they're just on their way. So I had to quickly empty it and um anyway, at least and they were here for about an hour. At least at least once they got the machine in or at least yeah, once it was all start, started to be set up and stuff, I was yeah, a bit more at ease. I mean it just it just take me a little while to calm down. But um even though they've been and gone. Um he said there was something I read before that said don't switch on a fridge freezer for at least two hours because it's got a let all the gases settle. Well, they turned it on straight away because he had to check the water was working. Um, and he said, when they left, he said the freezer side can take six to eight hours to get to the right temperature. Um, the fridge side can, t- can pretty much be used straight away. And within a couple of hours, the freezer was at the right temperature, so I put the stuff back in. Uh, the fridge side, yeah, that was pretty much straight away. But I just sort of, I did it, kind of did it all at the same time. I mean, if we look inside here, right, yeah, the other one just had it on the front, which would be so much easier. It would have it there, basically. For some reason, they've decided to put it inside. Oh, by the way, um, you've got to be careful when you get water out of this thing because it'll just happily spill all over the place. Um, it's a little bit wet there. At least the, the, the previous one had a bit of a recess where it would sort of collect some water, even if it didn't go anywhere. Um, this doesn't have that at all, so it'll just happily spill down the front. I mean, Samsung, come on, have a word with yourself. Um, but for some reason, they've decided to put it inside there. So at the moment, the freezer's on not minus 17. Um, now, the previous one on minus 18. So I'll, I'll figure out how to change that. <laughs> I don't want to mess about with it too much on day one. Um, the fridge is on three degrees. Like the band and uh, yeah, the ice makers on uh, the almost water filter. I think that just comes on and goes, makes a funny noise or whatever when it's um, when it needs changing. Quite frankly, um, I had the same water filter for about twelve years with the previous one uh, until it just went um, because you can just press a couple of buttons and it and it just it just accepts the fact that you've changed it and it and it works and it gets rid of the annoying thing just. It's telling you to change it, and the water doesn't taste any different anyway. So, you know, um, I just kept doing that until the point where, after 12 years, I came downstairs and found that cupboard full of water and it all over the floor because the water filter had bust. So I figured that um, at least change it <laughs> once every 10 years. Um, but after, what's this, you know, I changed this, what, I changed the, so I changed that in about September 2000. 2019 um so another yeah just over two years just i've got a new one so there we go um a little, little bit early but then uh, the rest of the freezer was no good and because that's open it's uh, making a ding ding noise a dingling noise um if you have it open for so long the light starts flashing that's that's quite cool but i'd rather not you know tempt fate um so I'll just close that up. So we just have to sort of open it. It's bloody awkward to open this bastard thing. Um, and also, it's a little bit far away from the wall. 
Um, it, it should just go into that recess there. The trouble is, if I do that, because it's about sort of 10 centimeters away from where it could go, but if I do that, then I can't open the frigging door because this thing is just so tight it won't uh, actually open wide enough. So, I don't know. Worst things happen at sea, as I say. But I mean, I've got so much more space in this one than I had before. Um, this is where it's making some ice, if you can see that. Ooh, it's like the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that will fill with ice eventually. Um, got some... What's that? It's, uh, gammon. Uh, that I've cooked and uh, chopped up. Uh, some stuff down there. There's some... Where are we now? Chicken and ready meals and shit down there. The that one's actually empty because I've got so much space I don't need that. Um, that is uh, well some other food and some more food and and some more food and um, let me get to the pizzas and the ice cream. So <clears throat> yeah, so I'll close that back up so that doesn't start making a bloody noise. So yeah, things I like about it. I've got more space. Things I don't like about it, this the numbers thing is inside. Ridiculous. Why why do that? Why, why can't you just put it on the front? Also, this because this sort of thing sticks out a bit there. Yeah, that'll just collect dust. That's a bit, a bit ridiculous. Um and I mean, okay, it looks nice that you can put um the, the hand I mean it's like in a way the handle sort of recessed like that, but in reality, um I guess I guess it, really the handle would have come out this far, but as instead I've sort of got extra fridge space, um, and it's just sort of everything's a bit more brought forward, if you see what I mean. So kind of that's where the out the outline the the outset of the handle would have been. So it's like there, but I've just got more fridge space, and that's why this is recessed, if you see what I mean. So this is only a couple of a couple of centi a couple of millimeters more deep than the other one. Uh, can't think of anything else to say at the moment. If I do think of something else, I'll add an extra bit, or I will. Um, so I'll probably think of something else, or I'll put it in the video description. But for now, if this is the end, my only friend, the end. Weird scenes inside the gold mine. Um, then uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the little bell for all the notifications. And yeah, I'm telling you to subscribe, but um, I'm not going to be <laughs> reviewing fridge freezers every bloody day. Um, and uh, oh, did I say, yeah, just say, yeah, because I've got no handle with it. Yeah, I can't um, just quickly say, I can't just hang a tea towel on here, which is bloody annoying. I did see on Amazon that you can have sort of um, handles that you can just sort of put on something, and they're more like they're more really for, for you know elderly people trying to get them about somewhere, um, but or, you know trying to help sort of help them get out of the bath kind of thing. But quite frankly, I could just stick it on the side of this unit as long as I know this is, this is all working and it's staying, etc. I could just put it on the side there and just hang me. Um, tea towel there at least then it's out of the way it's better than having it on this side where you know where I come through from the kitchen and so I'll be seeing it the whole time so anyway that's all there is to say for now so I'll say I'll add some more if I do think of anything but in the meantime thank you for watching Q Genesis extra extra B sharp sing on rooftop okay so I just I don't think I gave you a bit of a tour just a bit of an extra part of the video Think of your tour in my fridge before, did I? How exciting this will be for you. So we've got some energy drinks at the top there. That's Red Thunder. That comes from Aldi. That's the, the light version that has no sugar. Uh, got a can of carling in there. Got plenty more. Don't worry about that. Uh, then we've got the chocolate fridge, which I... the Well, the chocolate fridge, chocolate shelf. The shelf part, which <coughs> which I appropriate. Did I mention this in the in the rest of the bit? The rest of the stuff I recorded, that was two days ago. And uh, now I've just lost track completely I've not even looked back at that video um so yes thank you I've, st I've started so I'll finish so um 
yeah, that's a chocolate. That's a shelf. I call the chocolate shelf. So that came from my old um, fridge, and it doesn't quite fit. So it does kind of every time I use it, it kind of falls down a bit. But most of the time, it will just sort of stay in place. Uh, then we got some ZX Cola from Aldi. I should really drink some of that. Um, like a ZX Spectrum. Probably doesn't taste like a ZX Spectrum. Then, yeah, some peppers in there. Some um, dip from Aldi. Some uh, fruit and veg. And then there's some, what's that, Rivita. Then, or quite the, the equivalent of um, margarine. Then, oh, got some... Um, Oh, what was that sort of curried chicken that I cooked, which uh, is all chopped up in there. I'm going to use that tonight. Then the fruit and veg shelf, and then the bread shelf, and then on here, hush, uh, the condiment shelf. Well, that's the the sort of ongoing cheese shelf, but I've taken the cheese out for now. That's um, yeah, the condiment shelf. You can see those in there. Yogurt and mint from Morrison's. That's lush. Uh, cheese. Cheese, grommet, uh, milk. Uh, we've got some. It's kind of like, <coughs> kind of like um, lilt kind of stuff. The tropical blast zero from uh, Aldi, and uh, yeah, Pepsi Max. And then at the bottom, well, I just shoved, I just shoved the egg shelf in there, so it's not uh, sat somewhere else gathering dust. I don't eat eggs, so I don't know what the hell to do with it. But um, <coughs> it, it'll just sort of sit there. Um, I don't know if I can't think of anything else to use the shelf for, it'll just sit there. But who knows? Watch this space. Well, I won't be making another video about this, I don't think, but um, yeah, and it's been open too too long, so I'll close this now and get on with things. I think this is the end of the video. I will say <coughs> while coughing, I'll say Q Genesis. Thank you.